Hi, and welcome to the final installment of Amplify's three-part series exploring precisely automate. In today's episode, we're going to talk a bit more about Amplify and how we can help you utilize precisely automate to achieve your business objectives. So anyone who wasn't on the first webinar, Amplify is an information management consultancy who's been recognized by Gartner for the last four years running as a leading external service provider for MDM services. We've also been recognized for data and analytics services by Gartner as well. In terms of Amplify, we break it up into three pillars. So we have our strategy and advisory practice, which is all about how do you solve this data problem? We're trying to do this. What products, what services, what processes do we need to achieve those objectives? And have our consultancy and delivery side of things. So, for example, if you were to purchase Precisely Automate, Casey and his team would come in and actually implement, evolve, or studio to solve your business problem. And then we have the ongoing services, Xcare support, which is helping you on an on demand basis with business rule changes, updates, or giving you just that sounding board. We've got this initiative, we're not sure if the tool could do this, can it? So, but when we talk precisely automate, we do have those three pillars of service as well, but we've also created some accelerators to improve speed to market, ROI, and get you up and running quicker. So with that, I'll hand over to Casey, who is the architect behind the accelerators we've been building. So Casey, could you sort of tell us a bit more about some of the accelerators we've built and what they can do for you? Yeah, thanks, Callum. So um, in, in all of our years of experience with the Precisely Automate tool, um, we, and we have come to the conclusion that everything's unique, right? Every, every business is, is unique in their process and, and how they do things. But that uniqueness tends to run in the, you know, minority side of, of what's happening with your actions. So, and what that means is um, we've determined that about 80% of what you need as a, as a business for your process tends to be really similar from company to company. And as such, we think we have a, a way to, to build a set of accelerators to help you uh, achieve value quicker and, and build some of those processes um, that are, are intended to be uh, a little more generic than some of your more unique processes. So as such, um, we, we've begun the process of building these accelerators um, to, to enhance your, your ability to, to return that value with the Precisely Automate. Um, the, most, uh, the most common uses that, that we find are, are within the customer and the vendor, right? The material is, is also a very high use, but it's a little more unique and it takes a lot more to, to involvement to go. So it's better suited to use um, the customer and the vendor. Um, and we'll expand this as we go, of course, as well. But uh, for right now, we're working on a customer create, a customer update, a vendor create, and a vendor update. And these solutions are built um, with, with you, the customer, in mind, right? The vast majority of the fields that you're going to use in your SAP process for these pro for, for customer or, or vendor are going to be available to you in our accelerator. What that means is that your form in the Evolve side and your workflow kind of have a little bit of a starting jumping off point. Obviously, the workflow can only be done so much because each business process for a customer is, in fact, unique. But by starting us out with a baseline of, you know, 80% of the fields that we expect a customer to utilize within customer or vendor, we've now sped up the, the time that it takes to get you in the door and get a solution set up for you. And it basically means that you can save time by, by working within the boundaries of our accelerator. And that means um, we, do have, we are gonna have a few boundaries such as only being able to create a certain amount of customers at a time, or only being able to um, utilize certain portions of your SAP system based on our belief in the majority of the fields that are used today. So what we'll do ultimately is we'll talk to you and we'll find out if our accelerator is a good fit for you to be able to get quick realized value out of the products. And, and if so, then we'll build it. And, and if we need to do a little bit of customization to make it work for you, we can do that too. Um, 
if your business process or your your SAP systems are super highly customized, we'll 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 learn that and we'll we'll adjust and we'll help you with a more customized process. But the idea is let's get you let's get you something quick and and get your business users working through the process, learning how it works and realizing that value. And and then essentially that's the evolve side. Uh, but I'll let Madison speak to a little bit about what we're also doing to uh, kind of help accelerate the studio side. Yeah, so on the studio side, we're also planning to build a library of scripts that can be a starting point. There are some pretty standard ones through finance that can get complicated in their loops, but they're easy to customize once you have the initial foundation. There's also a lot of places through material that we can create script for each different part of it that can let you pull them all together in the chain that you need to get started. And, and then ultimately, ultimately, there's more of this to come, right? We're, we're, we're continuing to refine and enhance our ability to provide such accelerators to you as the customer. Uh, so, so look out for more uh, as we move forward. Perfect. And the whole thought process behind this is speed to value. Too many times in the past that people or businesses brought software and they've taken nine, 12 months to get any business benefit. The whole thought process behind these accelerators are to start quickly, get value sooner and prove ROI. We, but, weeks instead of months, Callum. Weeks instead of months. <laughs> Perfect. As you can see, the sun is setting behind me and it's also setting on our three-part series. A massive thank you to Casey and Madison for their inputs throughout this three-part series. If you have got any questions on Studio or Automate and you'd like to contact us, please follow the link at the end of this video and we'd be more than happy to have a conversation on how precisely Automate could help your business. But stay safe, speak soon.